Recently, Ancestry released its Pro Tools, and within that tool set, there is a system of checking your tree. So what I wanted to do in this short video is look at what's been checked here, how valuable it is it, and how is it compared to other tree analyzer tools. So what I took was a, a family tree of man, about three and a half thousand people. It's pretty old, there's some errors in it, I know there's plenty of errors in it. And what I did was create a JEDCOM, loaded that JEDCOM up to Family Tree Analyzer and also Roots Magic, which I also use. Family Tree Analyzer is free. Roots Magic, I think, costs about $40 for a subscription. And compare the lists. So here we are at my Ancestry page, and there's 179 errors. And fairly straightforward. But what I did find is most of these are either duplicates or floaters, people without relationships. In fact, if I take away those two, as we can see here, pop another screen up, there is only about 17 actual logic errors within Ancestry. So how does that compare to Family Tree Analyzer and Roots Magic? So I can do these real time. Let me go over to Roots Magic first of all. And when I ran this analysis on Roots Magic, there was about 153 actual errors born after par parents' marriage, born, born before parents' marriage, missing surnames, a variety of issues here. And within Roots Magic, I can also check for duplicates. And Roots Magic was giving me about 12, but again, we can do this real time. I can set the parameters I need. Within Family Tree Analyzer, a very similar story. I look at all the logic, logic errors here within the same tree. Um, let me go to data errors here. And I can see I've got facts dated before birth, birth after baptism. And some of these I put up in to check the, the way these things work. And again, about 153 logic errors. And within duplicates, I can change the strength of the duplication here. Currently it's only showing me six. So how does these two compare to each other? I've put together a little chart here that shows that ancestry is really finding floaters and duplicates. Now floaters are very important and duplicates, but it's no way at the moment checking the trees in a way that some of these other tools do. And as a further substep, I took a small family group of Beaumonts and I looked at the kind of errors here within all three systems. As you can see, Ancestry only really found one error. But the interesting thing is, both these tools, all three of these tools, found different errors. The one that was found by Ancestry wasn't found by Family Tree Analyzer, and it wasn't found by Roots Magic. And you can see there's very little overlap. So how do we take away from this? Well, first of all, the tree checker within Ancestry is really checking for duplicates and floaters at the moment, and some loose logic. There is no way of changing, like we can in within for instance, this system here on Family Tree Analyzer, I can ch change what it's checking for. So most of the systems will allow me to check for different logic and check for different types of duplicate. Ancestry doesn't do that yet, so we don't have any insights into it. So two things are coming out of this. One is the number of the logic errors that have been found are pretty low right now. Number two is don't think your tree is is perfect once you've run any of these tools because all three tools check in different ways and Ancestry, to be honest, has got a long way to go. So what my suggestion would be is use something like Family Tree Analyzer, which is free. You can go through, it has a drawback of not allowing you to change things online, you know, what real time. I mean, the beauty of Ancestry is I can go and change things real time and I'm sure it's grow, but at the moment, it really is a very weak tree checking tool. It will allow you to get rid of some of the duplicates and I think it's over tight on that. And it will also look at floaters, but to get the real logic, you still need a third party system. I hope you found this video informative, will help you with your research. If you do, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.